In this video, I'm going to be discussing and be breaking creation of video to the barest minimum. Whereby I'm not just putting out this course for no reason, I'm putting out there for you to gain a massive value from this. It's not even the money that you used to buy the course, but gaining insight not only facebook marketing or facebook generally but also as a content creator what you need to know to be able to create a quality content on facebook on any social media platform as a social media manager that is what i'm going to be showing you right now but before i show you that i talked about insight Insight is a way you measure your growth on Facebook. Insight is how you know the number of people that actually visited your page, the total number of people that actually liked it, the total number of people that actually ignored, the number of people that clicked on a link, which will give you the lowdown of the result now we are at the overview of our page now if we click on results we will see some other options like they're giving us the result from our page now if we click on audience we'll be able to see the total number of people that actually visited our page you see facebook visit we'll see at the audience the number of people that visited their age range their the potential audience the age and gender the town the community and all that and as you can see from here you see the top town the top cities you see other countries that also view your page the total number of the state viewing your content the gender now at here we have a zero percent of 18 to 24 of the um, kind of red color is for women while the purple is for men this is the lowdown of what we are talking about so that is that about that here you can be able to Check how your page is doing, the total retention, the total number of people that your page were able to hold down and keep them engaged. So that is that about that. Now let us move to what we call content making. What do we call content making? If you are a type of person like me, I honestly don't like putting out my face there all the time on social media if you are like me this is a way that you can actually record your screen and you can edit whatever is recorded on your screen and get the utmost result from it now if you want to record your screen there are various ways that you can do that but the easiest way i'm going to be showing you right here is using obms to record your screen now move over to what we call obsproject.com forward slash download when you type this out into your web browser it's going to bring you into this interface all you just want to do is just navigate your way through and click on download installer if you have done that then you have successfully downloaded your obs for recording meanwhile obs is not just for screen recording it's also for live streaming programs we will we'll get to that i'm just going to show you the overview of what i mean in just a minute another thing that you would want to do is that you want to go to CapCut. 
CapCut is an all time all in one tool that you can use to edit your video, either editing your videos offline or online. For you to edit your video offline, just go ahead and click the drop down button right here and click on download. Now, if you are like me, I love to do most of my things offline, but you still have to experience more of this. Now, let me show you some features of CapCut. I know some of you are very familiar with some TikTok videos. They will just be showing some different kind of CapCut templates. This is where the whole process starts. Now, if you take a good look at the template of CapCut, you will see some template right here. Here you can use to create advert videos. Now, if I search for marketing here, I want to create a marketing advert or marketing video. I'm just going to type out that and I'm going to search it. If I search it, it's going to give me some templates to work with when it comes to marketing. As you can see, apply my brand name here and edit and use for whatever I want to do. Now let us move back to our home page and um, there are a lot of beautiful things that you can do here. You can create a new video. You can create a new video for yourself. Let's go ahead and do that. And uh, you can also create a new image as well. Okay. And here they will give you a customized template to work with for Instagram for YouTube, for TikTok, for different kind of social media platforms right here. You can create for thumbnail, for YouTube intro, for YouTube end screen. Let's say for instance, we want a YouTube intro, you just go ahead and click on YouTube intro. Let me click on this auto cut. They will give you different template to work with. You go ahead and import some pictures and apply some templates and boom. You will be able to get some fantastic template to use to create some random videos that was just for fun by the way but here you can get some amazing videos that you can use to your advantage and it's no brainer you can use it for anything that you want to do so if i want to proceed while i wait for this to load i move over to my OBS. This is OBS here loading. And uh, if I want to start using OBS to record my screen, all I'm just going to do is just come to this arena, click on this plus button, and add a scene. Come over to source, add my display capture, and come over to the source again and add my audio mixer now i am recording from a beringa which we call a sound card now the mic is showing that i have a sound flowing in and if you don't you can go ahead and use a lapel mic attached to your system and if you don't you can go ahead and click on your desktop audio to use for that as well it's going to save you a lot of time and if you want to use it for live streaming, all you just want to do is just come over to your studio mode, come over to settings, and add your links. Once you add your links, it will give you the option to do what? Start streaming. So that is that about that. Keep that in mind. Now, if you want to record on your local desktop, on your local screen, all you just going to do is just come over to start recording. And when you have done that, it's going to start recording your screen. This is perfect and you can use this for any recordings that you want to do. Now, if you have successfully done this and you want to edit what you have recorded from here. And uh, if you take a good look at some templates that you have right there on your CapCut template, these are some here that you can use as well. So if I 
he bought one of the videos from the recording now just click and drag and drop it here after that is send and done you see that you drag and drop it here or you drag and drop it at the timeline now the next thing that you are going to do from here is that you want to create a ratio that you want your video to work with now we go ahead and click on what we call the ratio now this is giving you different kind of customized ratio to work with now i want to work with the youtube size at least 1080 to 1080 i mean 1920 to 1080 now just go ahead and click on it now if you notice that there's something we call the scale here all you just want to do is just click and drag click and drag and if you don't want to click and drag just go ahead and type it here 142 if you click on enter it's going to fit straight into your screen now here you can edit you can edit you can use the cut button to cut your video cut if you click on there and you cut this it's going to delete the right part just go ahead and delete that if you want to undo this you can go ahead and click on undo to bring back your recordings right here 